Okay, so, you know, when I printed my books off set before with Copper and Lithuania, um, and they cost, so one cost like, what, six and a half grand, the other cost like eight grand, like, I went over to oversee the printing. Um, my zines, I'm not going to do that. Okay, I don't think Mixam would let you do that. And if you're looking at my screen now, you can see I've got Mixam open. To do live quotes, you click on a thing. And I just want to say also, right, Mixam ain't paying me nothing. Like, I'm not doing this. Um, I'm not being paid. This ain't hashtag gift. I do that crap. I don't do that kind of stuff. This is just legit me finding like a way of doing it. And the reason I'm doing this is because people I feel in the past made it really difficult to help photographers to self-publish. And they would charge lots of money for this kind of stuff. I'm doing it to help you. And, and I think by extension, helping my former self in a past life. <laughs> so here we go. So anyway, here's what I picked for my zine. Uh, another thing to point out, right? Um, you're printing with offset. Uh, lithographically whatever it's a huge amount to set up making all the plates massive heidelberg machines blah 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 um it would cost loads to print just 50 um zines or books whatever doing it that way so you end up printing like 500 000, 1500 printing digitally is different ball game the economies of scale don't really apply that much so look you know what even though my edition's 100 i'm not going to pay to print 100 i am a fallible human mortal and for me, just paying 100 and whatever quid, 118 quid with delivery, that's enough money, man. Okay, so I'm just going to print 50 first of all. Uh, 50 magazines, 32 pages. It's a custom size, 190 by 230 mil portrait, and 150 GSM encoded paper, digitally printed in color throughout, saddle stitched with a cover of 250 GSM. Oh, uh oh, I've made a mistake. It's silk paper. I need to go and change that. You know why I need to go and change that? Um, I might just click start new quote. So hey guys, I didn't plan to do this, but here we go, we're going in again. 50 copies, color printing, portrait, uh, custom size 190 by 230, uncoated. When I get to the bit about the cover, I'll tell you why that was important. So there's only 32 pages inside with a four PP cover that's uncoated. Now, originally I did plan on pill printing like a silk or a coated cover, but I decided not to in the end. And we'll, uh, that will reveal itself in time. Hey, what's going on website? Awaiting custom, oh, custom size entry. Oops, I didn't click apply. There we go. Done, 115 quid, you're on. Um, delivered, wow, in like nine days. That's pretty good for that quick. So I'll go add to cart, off we go. That's more like it, uncoated, uncoated. Um, and the reason is basically I'm printing on the inside cover of the zine. And if I had silk paper for the cover, the photo is going to look pretty weird, half on silk and half on uncoated. Not quite sure why I'm getting spinning wheel of doom here. Hey, okay, just click on it. There we go. Cool. Pending order artwork. Now, <clears throat> this is kind of a cool proofing thing they've got where you can upload your PDF and it will drop it all in for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload file. There's my final PDF. You know it's final because you've written final. Um, that's a joke for anyone who works in this kind of stuff because you end up like final, new final, final three, final, final. So there you go, final. Uh, it's uploading it now. Um, it's a bit like watching paint dry. Um, I could tell, tell you a dirty joke or limerick. Um, I could tell you that my cat has placed his paw on my arm right now. And although my hand's resting on the mouse, oh no, he's taken it off now, I said that. How typical of a cat. Um, it's uploading now before it does drop in look, one thing I've done is there's like a bleed box and a trim box and when I printed the test scene on the edge of one of the photos was a dude's face and it was kind of half chopped off and I liked the way he was kind of peering into the edge of the photo so I've done something a little bit uh, naughty I sl slided it over a little bit so it's not completely filling the bleed box anymore I don't know if that's going to be a problem I'm probably going to email Mick Sam when I go to print. Be like, is that okay? It's slightly in the trim and bleed box. You will see. But anyway, everything else is pretty cool. I've checked it out. But I'll just show you what happens when it fires up. Here we go. There we go. Boof. Magic. It can take up to 15 minutes. So anyway, how are you doing? How's your day? Tell me about you. Really? Oh, it's amazing. And for how long? That's that, you know, you should probably get that checked out, actually, if that's been going on that long. Um, yeah, sorry, I don't know why it's been so slow. I, did, I actually just did a, a run through of this before, and it's actually a lot quicker. Um, yeah, I don't know, I could pause it, couldn't I, somehow? Oh, no, there we go, bam. So here we go. 
front cover, outer back cover, inside front cover. You see what I mean about, you know, if that was the front cover was printed on like a silk paper, then that would have been half silk and that would have been uncoated, but no, it's all uncoated. So here I'll show you now. So where's a full bleed one? This, this is full bleed. So if I click here for the preview, the green is your trim box. That's where they're going to cut it to. Um, and again, I'm not, this is a tricky one, right? Because I kind of like that guy's hands kind of clapping. Um, well, obviously I lost that in the last one as well. Um, and we've got a bleed box here, which you're supposed to kind of fill up, I guess. But anyway, I will chat. I'll send a little email to Mick Sam because look, man, where is it? In this photo, that's it. Um, let's just go a bit bigger. You see this guy's face here. I kind of liked it because obviously if I hadn't slid it over, it's kind of chopping it half for his face. So I wasn't such a fan of that. But yeah, so basically what you're supposed to be doing is going through and checking all your, your bleeds and whatnot. Um, that it's okay and yeah it looks pretty cool to me man um i'm not gonna send this and pay for this now <laughs> i'm gonna do just a final check and i probably will email them about the um the bleed in the previous photo not quite filling up the bleed box um but then also it's it's saturday night at eight o'clock and they're not going to be working because they're not like me or like you we're a different breed of maniac who just is doing this all the time, aren't we? So there you go. Um, that's it. Uh, that's just what I wanted to say about using Mixam. Now, what I'm going to do is actually I did film when I was printing, printing in copper, when I was printing offset, and I'll try and edit a little video to kind of show you kind of what to expect when you go to print somewhere printing offset and those big machines and all the kind of jazz that you have to do kind of on location when it comes to kind of proofing the pages as they come off, because that's right. When you're printing offset, they'll be running these sheets off and it's up to you to okay them, which can be terrifying if you've never done it before. But I've, I've done it twice. I mean, I've done it three times, but I've done it twice on my own, on my Todd self-publishing. So yeah, I'll be able to give you some tips on that as well. But um, both are cool, man. Uh, printing digitally for your zine, cool. Printing offset for a nice big book, also cool. Both is cool. And again, you can do it. You will do it. Good luck.